I recently came across this tweet. Any quality reviews of the Apple Vision Pro from a more diverse group? Maybe some younger and older folks? How about some women? So far, I've only seen a lot of reviews by people that, well, look a lot like me. So I had four girls come over who I thought would bring a unique perspective when trying out the device. Kylie is a founder and programmer. Satsi is an artist. Chabu is a student and social impact entrepreneur. And Rachel is a producer. They are the focus of part two of my Apple Vision Pro series. Roll the intro. Everything that Apple has ever done is all leading to this. That brand new Apple device, I think few people are talking about it. A new kind of computer that augments reality by seamlessly blending the real world with the digital world. It's a term you may not be familiar with, spatial computing. I thought we were all on the same page where like when they were to release technology like this, we were just not gonna like buy it. This has to be one of the most dystopian looks I've ever seen. Did y'all like watch the Wally -E movie or like what? This is totally different from what people are thinking about. Holy shit, this is it. This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. If the Apple Macintosh helped unlock personal computing and the iPhone helped unlock computers in your pockets, what is this device supposed to unlock? This is the future. The future is in my hands right now. We can't wait to unleash it to the developers so they can begin to work on applications for it. I don't want to be here anymore. To the moon! I would live here. Hey, I'm Siri, and I'll be guiding you through this video. Let's start with prior experiences with VR and or MR. None. None. Zero. Yeah. I have only had one experience. I have used the one from Meta before, but it was definitely more in the experience where I saw it as a toy rather mm -hmm. than a tool. One time, um, it was not memorable, but it was an Oculus. I was like testing a friend's app and I was like, oh, this is cool. That's it. I was like completely shocked by the experience. Um, I didn't think it would be so immersive and like addicting. I'm not that into gaming, so I guess the meta one wasn't that appealing to me, but I am somebody that really enjoys doing things like watching YouTube videos in my downtime. So I'm like, oh man, like I wonder if this is going to be like a drug that I end up really, really liking. The only reason I wanted to take it off was because it made me so dizzy. I, I felt like I was gonna throw up after like 10 minutes of using it. So I'm hoping this doesn't give me the same effect. I'm, I'm nervous that I'm gonna like it too much. Expectations for the Apple Vision Pro. I was watching demos this morning. I've been keeping up with your content about it. Um, I expect it to be religious and emotional so what i've seen is a lot of people having like come to jesus moments being like oh my god ah. i see all these tweets saying like it's the next iphone my expectations are more to use the like apple prison vision pro headset as a tool for work honestly i don't know if i've experienced tech that's like blow my mind mm. in ages hard to say if it's truly like the future of how we engage with media but it could be mm -hmm. you know and i think it's the first time in a long time that we've seen a product from apple that's i mean they patented the vision pro in like 2007 right like it's yep. always been their plan i'm very hesitant to like fangirl over any type of like tech evolution just because like i feel like i rode the web three wave mm -hmm. really hard and it was a disappointment not even that it was a disappointment but like i just learned very quickly like oh like this is how it works like something happens everyone asks like it's gonna like save us from the rest of our from ourselves <laughs> i'm excited i've been thinking about it for a while like mm -hmm. anticipating it it's important for sure hesitations about the apple vision pro I'm a programmer and I like just don't care about technology enough to spend like 3600. I think the battery life is quite short. Mm -hmm. Like I think anything less than 6 hours is kind of disappointing. I've known like four or five people that have gotten it, which off the bat I'm like, oh that's really interesting and I wonder how long though that people are going to use it because mm -hmm. I don't think my friends that got the Meta headset used it for very long. I think the typing is confusing because you either can use your pointer finger or like move your eyes and like click like a crab. I'm interested to hear more about like the quality because I did see that it had 
a digital crown kind of how like my airpod maxes has and i know people were like oh man like i just don't like the way like the aluminum kind of feeling things like that how the wire goes into the front pocket is sort of like the assumption i wonder if that will have an effect on like fashion because i never have pockets i love in-person experiences i think those are the most enriching the most healing the most transformative the most relevant um so by default i'm mildly anxious at the thought of like any new emerging technology that has the power to change our dynamics in really severe ways just because we're already struggling like we cannot handle another in the wrong direction Mm -hmm. so that's my hesitation time to test it out all right you ready to get into it yeah i am yeah i'm ready i'm super ready to try it all right let's go putting on the headset so excited, I have no idea right now. So, this is what it looks like. Oh my god, like. this looks so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Setting up guest mode. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now you're gonna set up your eyes and hands. Wow, this is so cool. (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay, wait, this is insane. Oh, you know what I'm really surprised at right off the bat? How, like, stagnant this is. Like, it is really interesting how it almost already feels like this is like a pane of glass and this isn't moving. Oh my gosh, nuts. Experiencing environments. Go to environments on the very far left, like where you were before. Pick your poison, do the ones on the left, the lighting ones are boring. I'll do Mount Hood. Wow. Keep, oh, I see. The other way. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is kind of scary. In the sense that, like, if I was in this field alone, why am I in this field alone? (laughs) Oh my god, it's like 360. Damn, I need to get outside more often. Stay seated. (laughs) She said, oh my god, I've seen so many videos of people's moms walking into the fridge or something. I feel so grateful. Trying out the mindfulness app. Dude, this is like so insane. It's about to get crazier, just wait. Hi, this is Jessica, and I'll be guiding you through this meditation. Jessica. Focus. Exhale with relaxation. Wow. No. This is not real. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this is like... <gasps> oh, my God, it's so cool. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I died. <laughs> An immersive media experience. Do encounter dinosaurs in the top right corner. I feel like everyone's exaggerating about how heavy it is. <laughs> I didn't think it was that heavy. Like, it's not that heavy. Oh my god, I hope this doesn't scare me. It gets a little scary to me, but it's, it, you'll be good. It's three minutes. Okay, I'm not scared of dinosaurs. Hold out your finger for the butterfly. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, wait, this is very realistic. Oh my gosh! How cute! This is so cool! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you! (laughs) 
It's only three minutes and nothing bad happens. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. <laughs> Dude, this is how we're gonna make kids like interested in school and learning. I know, like history. <laughs> like imagine like a history class. Goodbye. That was cool. Browsing the web. Oh wow, you can have like a million tabs open, I see. My one thing is, does it have a YouTube app already? It doesn't. Ooh, that's interesting. Jewels! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what am I in my Oh my god, that's crazy. One man, one jar, and Eugenia Cooney. <laughs> Another thing is, I think this is really intuitive. I don't think I would use it, like at least not now, for like actually doing work. I Unless don't think you, it like solves anything. The Iron Man era. Do you remember when he would like move random shit around with his eyes? Uh, this feels weird. Telekinesis. 100%. We have a Jarvis. I kind of feel like shit. <laughs> like your head? <laughs> like my eyes are burning. That's a, I'm like, this is like, like it's so too bad. Too immersive, too much. Checking out the Sky Guide app, but only Satsi. And Chabu did this one. Pick your poison. Uh, I like ocean, to be honest. I like them all, but. Oh my God. <gasps> you can look all around you. Oh my God. And like you can pull the mythology characters towards you. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Is the second constellation of the zodiac possibly the first invented? Easily recognizable. It hosts two famous naked eye attractions, the V-shaped Hades. This is very, like, it's awesome to experience. But in that same breath, like, I can't help but, like, chase every moment of awe with a moment of, like, fuck. So cool that I can definitely see people, like, staying with it forever, five ever. A quest within the app, Cozy Luna. Again, only Satsi and Chabu. <laughs> okay, like... So one of the things that happened earlier that made me go damn is like that whole dinosaur thing. I feel like whatever generation gets to have this readily and easily accessible, right? We'll be so fearless, you know what I mean? And it's really gonna mess with like human instincts regarding like fight or flight. Cause they just, there will, there will be the assumption that the thing that I'm looking at isn't real or can't touch me or wouldn't touch me. <laughs> I like to ask people like this is like almost like a an icebreaker or like a first day question which is like if your brain was like a physical space what would that physical space be and I think that you could really design like the inside of your home I mean the inside of your brain that would cool which is dope like it could be like the inside of inside of inside out especially when it comes to something like managing your emotions like if they were individual characters that you could speak with and then put, and then like, you know, put somewhere. That's dope. VHS tapes. What is this? Yay.
sitting in on an Alicia Keys rehearsal. Only Chabu, and Apple unfortunately didn't allow screen recording of the experience. Wait, this is gonna be so fun. Oh my God. <laughs> So many thoughts. So many effing thoughts. One, like imagine vision boarding this way. You know what I mean? Like vision boarding for the next year, vision boarding for your life this way. Cause I feel like I'm somewhere that I've never fucking been. You know what I mean? But you can't tell me you haven't been here. <laughs> this is so cool. Taking off the Apple Vision Pro. Whoa, I feel like so motion sick. Okay, per. It's crazy coming back out of it. Yeah, how do you feel? Sick. Really? I don't feel sick, I just... It doesn't feel good. Yeah. You know when you're on your phone for like three hours? Yeah. Feels like that. That was so... Wow. And you know how I feel about music. That was so... Yeah. Wow. Expectations versus reality. Okay, so many thoughts. It definitely exceeded expectations. That was really great. There's things that I could do with it in my life, but it's not like, Rah! I was expecting spatial computing, but I was not expecting it to be that accurate. It's a beautiful product, a beautiful experience. I feel lucky to be alive right now in this age of technology. Mind you, it's 2005, you take someone from there and drop them in this, they're liable to have a seizure. The mindfulness app was really cool because I feel like that was very useful. You know, that was like better than meditating in real life. Like that's the first VR experience or like any tech experience where I was like, this is better than real life. Like I'd rather do it here. Like seeing the moon. It felt like being on the moon. I just instantly felt almost like the sensation or tension of like being in a room while you're building it, like while you're going through practices and rehearsals. And like there was a lady on her laptop in the corner and like, you know, people are just like doing their thing and just getting that like literal 365 of how something gets made. Even right from the beginning, noticing how uh, stationary parts were so even when i moved my head like that the home base kind of stayed really solid in place looking at constellations on the vision pro feels like a genuine hobby you know literally it's like i'm like happy to hear you're doing that starting off i think it was mount hood was like the the scape that we were in loved that i thought that was super interesting especially as somebody that lives in an area where I don't necessarily have access to nature. And honestly, let me not even be disrespectful though, because again, this is not my medium mm -hmm. of things that I love. You know what I mean? Like you should never ask me. Like shout out to the people who have built yes. this stuff. Like if you built this, yeah. your brain, Godspeed. Thinking ahead. This is completely different to my Oculus experience. <laughs> Oculus kind of felt like you were in a, um, you were in like, a gaming cafe or something. Like this feels way more like human almost. In the future, if this becomes like more popular, I wonder if people are going to be less creative mm -hmm. outwardly. So um, like already, like I am I rent my apartment. There's not like a ton of decorations happening. And I wonder if that's going to be way more of a norm. We're getting closer and closer to a place where you don't have to like go into a field of work. I think about like doctors, right? Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me you spend decades not decades, but you get the point, in school, and then you get to the job and you might actually hate it? I'm thinking a lot about, you know, like elderly people, people with disabilities, like paralysis, who can't necessarily experience certain aspects of life, mm -hmm. um, you know, such as climbing a mountain, like traveling somewhere, or like incur a lot of risk in doing so, and that this is a way for them to like, interact with that sort of experience that's like extremely accessible like maybe too accessible and netflix if you're listening you know how you can sh how before like when you had like when you were able to read certain books it was like do you want to do this a or b and then we on netflix um they created like those tv series where you could pick your own ending mm -hmm. a or b 
I think that you should be able to pick your ending. It doesn't even prompt you the question, like pick this A or B. The the circum the movie just changes based on where you're looking because then it could completely change based on like what you're focused on. It's objectively more enriching than using a phone or using a computer because it's like fully immersive and um interactive. And so I really hope um we see developments in education, developments in the arts, you know, developments in how things are presented, you know, and like accessible entertainment. Critiques of the Apple Vision Pro. Do you think it fills any voids currently or no? Again, this like just stems back to like me, my personality and attitude. Um, no, mm -hmm. the voids we have right now are like very IRL centric. I feel like it's the first Apple product that came out where it, like everything wasn't like pixel perfect in some of the views i did notice that it wasn't like super crisp so i did think that for example when i looked at snow on the ground or rocks on the ground i did think that could be improved mm -hmm. and it almost felt like the uncanny valley experience it was hard to read some of the things projected like it like hurt my eyes or was like out of focus i did not like not having a being able to feel something pushed back at me but the voice to text that was really really helpful privacy wise that kind of does suck but I, I liked the voice to text a lot. I almost feel like obligated to say this, even though it's sort of like the devil's advocate, but you don't feel the sun on your face and you mm -hmm. don't feel like tired from your hike or like accomplished, you know, you just sort of like show up there. It would be so fun if there were other people though. That's but you funny. would all just talk about, it would be like, so uh, how'd you get into Apple products? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could tell. I will say this and I've said this before. I don't think these are made for people, first off, that wear makeup ever. I wear an Apple, the Apple Air Pro Maxes every day, and I wear tinted sunscreen, if not makeup, mm -hmm. all the time. The transfer is horrendous. I think these are really big. I have like a pretty small face, like a pretty, like a pretty small face happening. And so putting it on, it feels like it's sagging my face down. Like it really is pushing. What do you think? I'm not going to share it in this. We'll Why? share in a separate I video. your opinion. Goodbye from me, Siri. My opinion is for part three, now that I've lived with the Vision Pro for a month. Wild. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.